Hello everyone. In this video, we will be graphing linear inequalities in two variables. When graphing inequalities in two variables, we need to remember this. Greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we are going to use a solid line. While if we have a greater than or less than, we use the broken line. As you can see here, if we have a bar underneath the inequality, we're going to use a solid line. And if we have a greater than or less than with no bar underneath, we're going to use the broken line. Now let's have an example here. So we are supposed to graph uh, this inequality. This is read as y is less than x plus 3. So what are we going to do is to de first determine the slope for this line. So our m for this is actually the slope is a fraction in front of the x. So there is actually an invisible 1 over 1. If there is no number in front of it, there's an invisible 1 over 1. So pretty much the slope here is 1 over 1. And then the y-intercept b is going to be 3. We remember that this m represents the slope and there's a rule for this when graphing. We remember that m is actually the top number would tell us to go up or down. It depends on the sign. Up if it's going to be positive, down if it's negative. It's going to be uh, the bottom would represent left or right, left if it's negative, right if it's positive. So in this case right here, we have m is 1 over 1, so it's all positive. So that means we go up 1 and then right 1 because again, um, that's a positive one, so we go up one. That's a positive one, so we go right one. So the bottom would mean left or right. The top would mean up or down. So when we graph this, what are we going to do is we always have to um, sketch the y-intercept first or plot the y-intercept, which is 3. So I go ahead and put a dot on 3 on the y-axis. And then after that, I am going to go up one. So up one. So up one over right one, so one. And then so then our second dot is right here. So from here, we can go ahead and connect these dots together. Since this is a um, less than symbol inequality right here, we are going to use a broken line. Again, this is a broken line because there is no bar underneath. So, but if there were, if there was a bar underneath, then it would have been a solid line. So that's a broken line right there. Now we're ready to shade which of these parts is the solutions. Is it this part right here or is it this part right here that we need to shade? Now I will give you a trick on how to shade the solution to the, to every inequality. The trick is, if y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Or shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. So in this problem right here, we would have y isolated by itself. So we're good. So we're going to apply the trick. So I will pick a point. Usually the point would be the y-intercept, the first point that we did. From here, from this point, if this this inequality is less than, we're going to shade below the side below the point. Now, if this is greater than, then we shade the side that is above the point. So from this point, less than would mean we shade below the point. If it is greater than, we shade above the point. So this one right here is less than. So this is less than. So that means we are shading below this point. So then I am going to shade below that point. Okay, so the shaded part right here is the solution to this inequality right here. Now we can actually check our work to see if it really, uh, if it's really the solution right there. So I go ahead and show the checking here. So let's start with um, this side right here. So we say that this is a solution. So we can pick a point here. So I'll just pick up uh, uh, the point. 2, 3. So it's going to be 2 all the way to 3. So 2, 3 is expected to be a solution because it's part of the shaded part right here. So then let's check this. So I'm just going to go ahead and write is um, 2, 3 a solution or not? 
not. So that's still a question mark because uh, we are checking. We're expecting that it's a solution that's two, three because uh, it's, it, it's in the shaded portion. So the shaded portion is actually the solution. Let's plug this into the inequality. So we're using the original inequality right there and we're gonna plug it in so that remember that this is our X and this is our Y. So I plug it in. So our Y is three. So I'll put in the three. Is that less than, that is our X is two. So what I did was I plugged in the three, I plugged in the X and then plus three because that's part of the um, inequality. So three is less than two plus three is five. Is three less than um, five? It is true. So that means we can say that two, three is actually a solution. Now let's check if, uh, let's pick another uh, point right here. So suppose we pick the point negative 5 and 5. So as you can see, this point is not a solution. So uh, by the way, again, we can label this as a solution. Now this one is not a solution because it's not on the shaded part, but we need to check if is it really not a solution. So we're checking it right here. So check is, um, that's the point that we have here is negative five, five, a solution. So what are we gonna do is I use the original equation then I'm going to change the uh, variable into a parenthesis and then that's less than, um, I write the X in parenthesis plus three, I plugged in, remember this is our X and this is our Y. So our Y again is five, is that less than our X is negative five? So let's do the math here. So that would be five is less than negative five plus three is negative um, two. Is five less than negative two? It is not. So this is false. That means this negative five, five is not a solution. So that is not a solution. And it also makes sense because it is not on the shaded part. So all of the points that we have here that are included in the shaded parts are actually solution. Those that have not been shaded are actually not a solution. Now, if you check it, all of these will come out true and all of these side will come out false, which means that this, this Points right here are not a solution. These points down here are the solution. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. The solution to this inequality is shaded in red, and it matches up with the solution that we have here on this uh, paper version of the graph. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. First, we're going to determine the M. So our M in this problem is negative five over three. And then our B or the Y intercept is positive one. So then we can go ahead and label this. We remember that the M, this is what the M means. So if the, um, if it's up, up it's positive, down it's, um, um, negative, left, negative, right, positive. In this case right here, we go ahead and read this as negative five. So if we say negative five, that would be, we go down five, and then this is a positive. So we only have to, if we read this, we go ahead and say negative five over three. That means it's the five that is the negative and not the three. So the three is positive. So we go ahead and label this as right. So then we can go ahead and um, sketch the uh, graph. First, we have um, one. So I am going to draw, the, uh, I'm going to plot the point on the y-intercept, which is one. And then from here, it says that I go down five. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And then I go to the right three. One, two, three. So this is the second point so this is the uh, second point right here again what i did was i went from the y intercept which was one the b i go down five one two three four five and then i go right three 
one, two, three. So then I am ready to sketch the graph. So as you can see here, since this one has a bar underneath, I am going to use a solid line. So this is gonna be a solid line right here. Okay, now I'm ready to sh uh, shade the parts that are considered solution. Now, please remember the trick is Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex. And from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. And shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. So from the Y intercept here, so let's take this point. Since we say that this one right here is less than, so this is less than or equal to. So we go ahead and label the one, as soon as we say less than, it's below. Less means below. So we are going to label the side that is below this point. Below this point means this ones are the, the ones that are considered below. Because this one is above the um, above the point, this is below the point. So we we shade this part right here. Now let's check this one right here. We have is two five a solution. So two and goes to five. This is the point that we're talking about. This is not a solution because again, this is not part of the shaded portion. So this is not a solution. Now let's have the other point, which is one negative three. So if we go, that's one negative three, one, two, three. So this point right here, since this is part of the shaded area, then this is actually a solution. So I'm just going to go ahead and write the word solution there. So the answer to this would be solution. Again, these are the parts that are considered solution, and these are the parts that are considered not the solution. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. The solution to this inequality is shaded in red. And you can see that this graph that we have here, the one that we did on the paper, and the graph on Desmos are actually a match. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Since this is not in y equals mx plus b form, what are we gonna do is we change this to y equals mx plus b form. So, or y intercept form. So what are we gonna do is we are going to add 3x to both sides. So plus 3x and plus 3x. So then we are left with, that's gonna be 4y plus eight is greater than 3x. Then we want y by itself on the left side. So we go ahead and subtract eight, subtract eight from both sides. So then we are left with 4y is greater than 3x minus eight. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna divide both sides by four, divide this by four, divide this by four. So then we can cross the four out. We are left with y is greater than three-fourths x minus two. So this is our um, equation in slope intercept form. From here, we can go ahead and say that our m is gonna be three-fourths, three over four, and then our b is negative two. So then we can go ahead and label this. Since we say, we remember that the m represents the slope. And since in this problem here, we have a positive three over four, we then could say that we go up three from the y-intercept and we go to the right four. So that would be up right. So then we are ready to sketch the graph for this. So that would be on negative two. So negative two is down here. So this would be the first point. Now the second point is we go three up. 
So I will count three, one, two, three, and then I go four to the right. One, two, three, four. So this is where the second point is gonna sit. So again, that's a negative two. I went up three, one, two, three. Then I went up four, one, two, three, four. So then I'm ready to uh, draw the graph. Since this is uh, greater than, there's no bar underneath, that means I am going to draw a broken line. Now we are ready to shade which part is gonna be shaded. Is it this part or this part right here? Now looking at this inequality, it says that it's greater than. So I go ahead and go to the y-intercept Greater than means above this uh, point. Less than means below this point. Since that is greater than, I shade above this point, which means that uh, the above portion are this ones right here. So then that means I will shade this part right here. So the shaded part right here would be the solution to this inequality. Now we have a question right here, is zero, zero a solution? So zero, zero is right here. So since this is part of the shaded portion, this is a solution. So I go ahead and label this as a solution. Now we have zero, negative five. So zero, negative five, zero, then go down negative five right here. This is not a solution. The reason for that is it is located on the unshaded portion. So I go ahead and write this as not a solution. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. The solution to the inequality is shaded in red, which matches up with this uh, paper version of our work uh, up here. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.